Okay, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. Last time we left off, we escaped the prison, and now we're stuck. So, as I said in the last part, I did do a tiny bit of grinding to get some abilities and such. So, we got Fires of War. Now we're going to go ahead and start working on his next one. Which, I right, thankfully none of this stuff is really important for me. His uh, next one, I believe, is over here. It's 75, Sides of Fate. <laughs> We're not getting that done anytime soon. And I did buy Fran a lot of exper uh, experience. A lot of um, health booster stuff, so now her... Yeah, she's a little bit of a strong girl. Uh-huh, this part gonna be hard game. I'm uh I'm actually significantly higher level than what is wired. And I'm strong enough to take on pretty much everything in this dungeon. So let's just hurry up and get out of here, I guess, because there's not really anything left to do, so to speak of. Assuming we can make our way out of the dungeon flickety split. I believe we can, right? Because isn't the only thing left is... Yep, down there. We're pretty much out. Out. Yeah. Got a little bit of more, but, you know, nothing we can't handle. So, with that being said, I can now say that we're past the boring parts of Final Fantasy XII. We are now... Re uh, we are going to be soon in the open world aspect, and probably why everyone loves Final Fantasy XII a whole lot. Well, actually, I mean, uh, there's probably still a little bit more cutscenes and stuff to go through, but very soon we're going to be in the open world and the very, very long side quests that are that happens to be in this game. Oh man, I'm not saying for some of those because I know some of them are going to be a complete pain in the butt. I'm never going to want to do them. Well, thankfully, I did a little bit of research, and I'm going to continue to do a little bit more research on. Which ones I think are even worth a damn. And then we'll take on everything else in like a post-game like seminar thing. Seminar? I mean, <laughs> it meant live stream. I don't know how I thought seminar meant live stream. But anywho, I just want to get through the boring parts of the game because the interesting parts are actually right around the corner. You know, right around the corner. Uh, man, I don't know music. I was going to sing a song. I was gonna sing a, a song for Card Catcher Sakura for those who actually know or or happen to be like old enough to remember what that show is besides the new one. The new one was alright actually too. Too bad it kinda got cancelled, what I heard. I wanna watch more of it. Then again, I'm also just a huge fanboy of it, so that probably makes sense. It's gone. Leave, and I believe this is gonna take us right to a boss fight. Miss yeah, pretty damn close. It reads something's close. <clears throat> oh, boss! Nice moves there, Captain. You mean traitor? So they say, but I didn't see him kill anyone. My brother did. Uh, Rex. He said he had a brother two years younger. I see. He meant you. There we go. Your brother. Okay, you finally know He's it. dead. I'm sorry. It was you who killed him. I give you my word. That was not the way of it. Oh, let's hear this one. Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Rex. All I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I. Let's Time bunch. Save the discussion for later. We found him! But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Sir, we have no, little sir. time. You must I go to the they're slowing us down. And for my parents. A lot of flash warnings. Captain, why? Our king, have you done? His Majesty was a traitor. Uh, 
Aha. Uh -huh. A twin brother. Fancy that. Hmm. But still, the pieces fit, I'll give you that much. And he did look like you. Sally. I don't believe you. Of course not. It was my fault that Rex was there. I am sorry. My brother, he trusted you. He trusted you and you lost everything. How can I believe you? Not me, then. Believe in your brother. He was a fine soldier. He fought to the last to protect his homeland. No. Surely he fought to protect his brother. You don't know anything! Believe what Man, you I gotta shave. shave. Like, whatever it takes to make you happy. I love that Bosch's beard. I'm like, I had to shave. Done done. I'll do it tonight. Actually, I'm probably gonna do this recording anyways. Okay. Oh, this is safe. Oh, if I freaking knew there was a safe one right here, I would have just done this in the last episode. Eh, I don't know. So, Bosch is still guest. While I was going to check something, I don't know what I was going to check because I know where we up, where we stand. Okay, you a mimic? You are not. I'm so paranoid about the mimics now. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's the mimics. How about that, I know they start showing up. I'm a liar out of the game. Okay, can't do anything there. Potion. Sure, you need useless potions. I, I think I already stocked up on 52 of them. Okay. That's actually a lot more than I thought there was. I had. There was. I have. Uh... Hey, more mimics. Oh, you died for me, huh? That's definitely a mimic. But. Why the hell not? It's not a mimic, it's either. Okay. Oh, I think I can tell what- Okay, yeah, I know- I know how you tell the difference between a mimic and a, reg a regular chest. Fancy that. Yeah, please don't discharge on any of us, please. Especially not Fran. That's kind of gross. Okay, you're gonna go and disappear. Well, I'm gonna be here sipping some juice. Potion. Another pot. Okay, so... This one should be a fake. Okay, maybe it's just really poor lighting. I'm also just really tired. I can't see straight. That's a possibility. I was afraid. So what's over here then? A cherry staff. And a secret passage. To where? To a horn, okay. And a potion. That was kinda worthless, okay. Okay, so wait, was there not a boss here? I thought there was a boss here. What the hell? Where are we? Oh no, there is a boss here. Tiny mimics. Give me back my life. We need our solar energy. Solar. Man, that's a. Which Star Fox game was that? 64? That was a good 64 uh, stage. Another potion. Don't we have like 300 potions now at this point? <laughs> Close enough to it. Yeah, yeah. The next part of the game might be hard. Make sure you save over a separate data. And it's like, oh. <laughs> Caution to the freaking wind. <laughs> Uh, 
I know, it's the parasitic arachnogoma. Might as well be it. It births the mimics, and I think it's called a mimic queen, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, you gotta keep an eye on everyone's health just in case. Okay, Bosh. You and everyone else are just gonna have to do the damage. I could use Balfier's new skill. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, didn't suck hard enough. That's a phrase. And one. And all the mimics die. Let them never be mimics. And we're in the open plains of the world again. <laughs> yes. To think Dalmascan air could taste so sweet. Where are we? Any air for you would taste so sweet at this point. Of it. Let's back to Ravanasta before we shrivel up. By your leave, Captain. Yes, the hour of my return is already over late. The people may hate me. But that does not free me of my charge. Okay. Very noble of you. Yep, I know where our current location is. Gonna use the save point. And I'm pretty much gonna run back to town at this point. Just because there's not really anything for us to do out here yet. There will be soon. Just not now. Well, if we're gonna keep running at uh, monsters, why the hell not? That's what I say. Uh, I mean, we're, they're close to learning something new already again. I think boss fights actually don't give you less points in this game. I believe so. Not entirely sure. Aren't you the cockatrice of this game? I believe so. I'll learn the beastinary beastinary soon enough. It it is also currently like eleven at night, so I'm not really giving a damn right now. I just wanna go back to town, get to the open world part of this game, and then be free and nilly to do whatever the hell I please. It's funny because like I I think from this point on, we're going to pretty much like deviate from the story just a bit, just to get some stuff done. That also depends if we get certain things done that I want to get done. Okay, over here. Oh yeah, look at this town. Don't care, bye bye. Oh look, a very strong monster. Windstone, wind pelt, or wolf pelt. Gain all the stuff so we can sell it later on. Surprise! Antidotes. How bloody perky. I thank you. I'd avoid crowds if I were you. In this town, you're still a traitor, you know. The resistance will surely find me soon. Fates will we meet again. I would pay my respects to your brother. 
You're a fugitive now too. Stay low for a while. <laughs> sure. What about the stone? That's gonna be easier for Vaughn. Do as you like. That stone's ill favored. We feel regret. We sought that stone and found ourselves only worry. You offering it? It's mine. Then why'd you ask? Our regards to your girl. We stay in Rabanastra a while. Okay. What do you think? Can I trust Bosch? God, I know you're talking about really talking to your dead brother, but come on, dude. But maybe I should show Two years. her first, so she knows I got something. She'd be at Miguel's place this time of day. Everyone's at the party. Time to go find Pinello. Oh. Man, I've explored the city so many times. I've pretty much got all down. I got this to lock down. Vaughn, is it really you? I heard you got took off to Nalbina. The Imperials will need more than a dungeon to stop me. You broke out of a dungeon? Whoa! Hey, try and keep it down, would you? Pinello isn't around, is she? Out on a delivery, maybe? Nope, haven't seen her all day. Not like her to up and skip out on work like that. Miguelo's not here either. He went running off somewhere a little while ago. So much for my big welcome. Okay. I guess everybody's busy. I got my hands full watching the shop, and old Dallin had something for me to do, but I can't get away. Old Dallin, huh? Tell you what, I'll go see him for you. Really? Well, nothing better to do. Exactly. Shoot. I'm also going to do something real dumb. So we have the weapon shop and the armor shop. Uh, those are not what I want to go shopping by. What I do want to shop for is magic. Which is sad because we don't have any kind of magical units right now. But you know, better have them and not be sorry. Thankfully, this stuff's super cheap right now. And it'll save us in the long run. That's done. And we can go buy, I believe, the all of the uh, tactical stuff. <laughs> Words! They fail me. On occasion. Hey, buddy. Let me buy stuff. Libra. Oh man, Libra's such a good skill. The problem is, can any of my characters learn Libra? I think so. They should all be able to learn Libra. So, now we go over here and just go like, Yeah, what's up? And it's like, get ready to waste like a couple thousand dollars. Yep, I'm going to buy every single one I can possibly carry right now. It's going to help in the long run. Except it probably won't help in the long run because a lot of the stuff I don't even use. Better to get it all done right now. It's over a thousand HP. Oh right, there's foes that have over a thousand HP in this game. That's where I arrived, we're remotely done. I think about every thousand we'll come back and just start buying crap. Oh great, we did already so much of this we can get that. Oh, might as well buy whatever else I can though. 
Supposed to just sit on the money and pretty much doing nothing with it. Supposed to set petrify, stop, sleep, confusion, blind, poison, other shenanigans, and we're not even remotely done still. Okay, yep, that's gonna take a lot of grinding. Which I'm gonna do much off camera anyways. What's over here? Low Town? That's not Low Town. Low Town's here, dang it. Okay, time to stop by Old Dal, and then pretty much we're gonna stop at that point. I really wanna learn the music of this game a little more. Oh, that's just. I guess that's where I think that is. Going over here, go on to old Dal. Do, 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 do. Hey, I open the door. Like I say, buddy. Well, well, look who we have here. Heard you were sent off to Nalpina. And I got out of there as fast as I could. But it was all worth it down. Here, look at this. My, my, my. Quite a treasure you've got there. Well, you know, I couldn't have done it without your help. So, there is more to this gutter churl than first meets the eye. Van, I've an errand, a simple favor to beg of you. I was going to ask that kites to go, but I should think that you ought to do. No. No, I think you're just the one. There's a fellow by the name okay. of Azalas, and I need you to bring this sword to him. That's... That's a sword of the old order. Speak my name when you arrive. That should be enough to get you in to see him. I've made a note on your map showing you where he can be found. Mind you, you are to deliver the sword to him personally. I will. Hey, Dal. Oh. Do you think I could get you to do something for me? I need you to find out where Pinello is. I wanted to show her what I got from the palace, but I haven't been able to find her anywhere. Can you let me know if you hear anything? You can just leave that to me. Thanks, Dallin. Okay. And so it is done. But will it be enough to remind him of what the Order once meant? Sort of the Order. Get to the house and get this done. Uh, where the hell is everything? Okay, so it's pretty much right next to the sewer line, so just backtrack our way back there, we'll be fine. Dark Alley! Uh, oh, wrong Dark Alley. It's that one over here. Dark Alley. Proclamation. Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? In that case, the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Now there is the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar! <sighs> Just the opposite. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. 
Your words may convince a child such as this, but they weigh far too lightly on the scales for my taste. Our paths will remain separate. Do you not think Amalia worth saving? I hold men's lives in my hands. I must see foes in every shadow. The night we moved against Vane, he knew. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would Ondor, as I would treat any of better of the Empire. Then what will you do? Hold me here in chains? <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Listen to me, Bosh. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. That's true. That's right. Amalia's in the Resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbina. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take me to both here. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbana. We couldn't have done it without you. Okay. Boss, join the party, effectively. And truly now, so we got to go find Balfir. The best way of doing that would be if I could read the map correctly. It'd be going to, I believe, the airport or the tavern. I would sooner hedge my bets on the tavern. Uh, and take your bets on the tavern or the airport. It's probably a tavern. Oh, okay. Cutscene. A lot of kids lost their parents in the war. Mine, mine had already died before that. The plague took them both. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It's been five years now. After that, I lived with my friend Pinello and her family. Then... Then the war came. I am sorry. You don't have to keep apologizing. Really, it's all right. I know it wasn't your fault. I see that now. You didn't kill my brother. It was the Empire. My brother trusted you. True. And he was right. And Balfour is up here. Yep, okay, I was right. As I said, a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What I am understanding is it's with Pinello because of you. What? What about Pinello? Oh, Vaughn. They've taken Pinello. And there was a note. A note for this Balfir. Come to the Museum of Mines, it said. It's Begamnon. He was in Nalbana. If anything were to happen to that sweet child, why, I have her parents' memory to consider. You're going to go to her aid, and that's that. That's what you Sky Pirates do, isn't it? I don't respond well to orders. You do know that the Imperial fleet is massing at Bujaba. Fine, then I'll go. You at least have an airship, don't you? Just get me there, and I'll find Pinello myself. I'll join you. Huh? I have some business there as well. An audience with a Marquis, by chance? Both here. Just take us, and this is yours. The gods are toying with us. Uh, make yourselves ready. We leave soon. Right. They join back up. They join back up. Okay.
So, I'm going to go save. And, yeah, we're gonna not go to the next story objective right now. Just because there's gonna be a lot of side quests to do, and might as well tackle them as we can. Also, if you guys can't tell, I'm actually getting pretty tired. I wanna go to bed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna remotely lie. I'm really damn tired. I wanna go to bed. So, um, I'll wrap this recording session up here, and I'll see you guys on the next part of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. See you guys later.